Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed, bribed everyone else to stay and sub. Um, I know not everyone watches everything but if you're here and you watch Lardy as well and you watch the help video, I have tried everything. I downloaded Firefox uh, just before I went to bed and tried it and it was playing and I thought oh great I'll do that when I start recording again went to record it and it's doing exactly the same thing on Firefox with nothing else there so it can't it's not like it's playing another tab or it's doing something stupid it's just the one thing at the door is it something interesting I'm not even clicking play we'll just wait for a minute and off it goes be quiet at the start because she didn't have the thing on okay. right so then I pause it where's the thing there Drag it along to 2.43, which is where we left off. Three minutes early. Three minutes early. Sorry, I forgot to turn my mic on. Okay, okay. I don't understand what's occurring. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanksgiving, everyone. So I may just have to give up on the end of that, but I'll keep trying to see if I can fathom out what the frigs wrong with it anyway i think this going back i think this is the first one of lisa's that i missed while i was off i'm not sure but i searched it on my channel and i haven't done it and if there's one in particular that you want me to do before the others give me a shout and i'll do that okay shall we jump in and today we're going to do my favorite amazon mm. purchases from 2023 so let's why is she whispering start with one of my favorites and that is this free people inspired two-piece set the first thing i got was the actual see i have to look and see which one's which this is the free people set that i bought if you have to look to see which is which then you cannot say that the other one's better and why when you find that they're cheaper at Amazon and just the same, do you not wear them? Oh, I know, because they don't have a label on and you're a label whore. Bought originally, and it's a pair of pants. You guys remember this. Do we? And the top. The one from Free People is actually 100% cotton, I believe. So I ordered the black set. Okay, this one is 55 acrylic, but 45% cotton. So there are other ones on Amazon that are less cotton. And that just makes them less breathable and they're not gonna hang the same. It just makes them less like the Free People set. So this is the Amazon and this is the Free People, just so you can compare the actual. I'm just gonna pause this here for a second and play it back to myself because the dehumidifier sounds really, really loud and she's really quiet and I just want to check so I shall be back in a minute yeah it was so I fiddled about a bit and I'll film a bit more and see if it's any better I think is anyone else bored already I'm bored already with her oh this is this is this and this looks like that and that one's not the same but can you not not just do a countdown of your top 10 Amazon purchases weave and the knit I would definitely say that the Amazon is a little bit of a tighter weave and I'll be honest with you, that little bit of blend and it not being 100% cotton makes it give a little bit of a softer mm. feeling and maybe even a little bit more of a drape. I really, really like the Amazon. I would not spend the money now on the free people. Mm -hmm. Number two would be the dress that I have on. She not got a filter on today. Her eye bags look really bad. And then I never see them. That's why I'm mentioning them. Number two. Look at that. 
What happened? I think she's recording on something else because it's quieter. She's quieter and it hasn't got its beauty thing on. And I'm thinking it's my a fault my end and I don't think it's my end. I think it's her. But we'll, I'll stop again and see if that made any difference. Yeah, it's definitely her end. But what I've just done now is uh, turn my microphone right down. So hopefully I'll be as quiet as she is and then you can turn the whole thing up and you'll be able to hear what she's rambling on about. I'll give it a second and check her and see. Would be the dress that I have on. But I purchased this one that is the black and then I also purchased the ivory one. And they are so good. They're so good. They're so similar to all of the designer dresses that are like this and they are easy to wear you can put them with any shoes today i mean of course i'm easy to wear who would find a full length fucking dress easy to wear right i'm off again be back in a minute by george i think we've got it and if we haven't then i'm done fiddling with it right let's get back to her i'm just around the house it's a very cloudy day here you're wearing that around the house and raining. I've just got them on with like some Ugg slippers or you know what I mean, my slides. But you could put them on with boots for Christmas. I wore my ivory one with my ivory boots and I loved it. Very comfortable, very cozy and just good looking. I mean just I love the sleeves. I think it cuts down just the perfect amount. Not too expensive. I think you could wear it with sneakers if you wanted to, especially the white with the flat sole, like your Adidas Nizza or something like that. I'm always trying to think of good pieces that you could take on vacation that are just good for your day-to-day -day life. And that's... She makes me like, I'm always trying to think. No, I'm always looking at other people and seeing what they're saying. What I think both of these are good for. Number three is this necklace. I will tell you why it's different. It is the first CZ necklace I've ever had that doesn't flip. And even today when I was putting it on, I, you know, I just got nails and I was like, oh gosh, I'll never be able to put this on right. I was able to put it on right and you see how nice it lays. Yay, well done. You put your fucking necklace on properly. Oh, jeez. And that's with me going up and down the stairs and, you know, getting ready for this video, bringing every Up and down stairs, really. That's with me doing really hard work, carrying things upstairs because John's gone golfing and Brooke, my 23, nearly 24-year-old steamer, isn't here today. So I'm all by myself and I don't know how to cope. I've got no patience with this woman. Can you tell? everything up here into my closet room so it's just beautiful and I tell you I was thinking of a lot of these things it's kind of like it zaps my want for that particular item because I've always dreamed of having a tennis necklace and bracelet just like this that I could wear day to day and not worry about it this kind of zapped that for the necklace. But I got mine set in gold. You can also get it set in the silver. So this was number three. Lisa, people have been buying them for years from different places. I've got QVC, Diamondique, set in 14 karat gold that you can wear and wear and wear and wear. I got it, what, 20 odd years ago. And it's still the same as the day I bought it. You're the stupid one. Number four would be earrings. Yeah. These are my favorites. <laughs> These are Bottega inspired. and They have to be something inspired, don't they? I wonder, does she ever just trawl a site and go, oh, that's nice, I like that. No, she's specifically looking for something that looks like something else or something that somebody else is wearing. And I had those on my radar. And then I saw so many people, I think it was right before I did, and I'll link it up here. It was right before I did my $2,500 Amazon unboxing. I was watching all the people that are, like that's their niche is Amazon. Like that's what they do. They're like 
experts at shopping Amazon. And I saw several people mention these earrings. And I was like, wow, you know, I've been kind of wanting those. I like the big 90s earrings coming back. So I ordered them. Oh my goodness, they are so good. Oh my goodness. I could wear them every day. They have never once hurt my ears. They're very easy to put on. See how the back, see how it's kind of in that spot so that you have some up here and then this is in the, I wouldn't say the middle, but I would say near the middle and nice long post, nice back, easy, easy to put on. Number five would be these earrings. <laughs> these are hard to see. Ooh, if I showed them to you so in... Sorry, tech help. What's for dinner? It makes me laugh. He still comes in and asks me and it's like, when did I cook last? Should we get back into it? And nice long post, nice back, easy, easy to put on. Number five would be these earrings. <laughs> these are hard to see. If I showed them to you in my, I'll put that up here, my Pamela Anderson no makeup video. And they're just so good. Now these are a little bit more complicated to put on than these. For you but not extremely let's change them I'll change them real quick okay I will say so why didn't you show us that you changing them then to give people an idea of how less difficult it is thing they could do to make them a little easier would be to make the post a little bit longer but still I mean sorry this one my ears read from I was struggling with this one just a little bit so they do take a little bit more effort but they feel good in, they're light, and I think they're kind of cool. Okay, tis the season. Tis the season for Tanner. I fight it and I fight it, and then when it gets to be about now, I guess where I'm looking forward to spring, I know it's winter, but I'm looking at the spring trends and I'm you know, getting excited for what's to come. I start feeling, and it's probably just the timing too, that my natural skin gets much lighter. It will be time for me to tan. There are two tanning products that I have really enjoyed and did not despise. And <laughs> one of those is the Tan Lux, the Gradual Tanner. I like that better than the drops. A lot of people like the drops, but to me it was hard to regulate the drops all over my body or even on my face. But I do like they're just... Really? You can't figure out one pump of cream to two drops does your face. Three pumps of cream to six drops does your leg. Really? Is it really that difficult? It's already mixed gradual tan. You can get that. It's I think it's in that sale at Ulta. But this is what I love for my face. And I probably would have never tried it, but I saw someone else talk about how much they loved it. And it smells good. It's the Cocoa and Eve Sunny Honey Antioxidant Face Tanning Micro Mist. I use this after I shower with my hair in the towel. And it smells good. And when you wake up in the morning, you'll kind of forget that you're doing this and you'll just look prettier. It's just, it gives you just that little bit and then I'll even sometimes spray it down my neck and on my chest to give my chest a little bit of color and I love it. I just think it's a good one and I want to try the body. Towels. I have shown these to you so many times and I know that you can- And you're covering up your microphone, dingbat. I think a towel is a towel, but not to me. I have to have the perfect towel and this has been my favorite. Oh, don't we know everything you have to have is perfect. Favorite. It's a Turkish cotton towel. I love this design. And Dang in yeah. preparation for tanning time, I did get two of the charcoal gray and two of the black. The white ones stay white. They're not too thick, not too thin. They absorb great. They're just perfect. Now, I only use these for my body because I like like a hair wrap, the a key for my hair. 
but I'm very funny about the towel that I use and I do like to use a new towel every time. I know that's like a thing, but I love them and I wanted to get some that would not get discolored and that's my favorite face towel. A new towel every time. What, every time you have a shower? Yeah, I do that. Lots of people do that, Lisa. There's nowhere to hang towels in our bathroom, so they go straight back in the wash. My goodness. Towels. Now, this is a multifaceted thing here because the first ones that I fell in love with are these. Someone contacted me and said, it's one of my subscribers, and she said her brother had just started selling these on Amazon. Would I try them? And it was, I mean, I have never looked back. I just love them. And they look like little baby diapers. This one, this is a brand new one. The blend is 65 rayon, 35 cotton, and it's infused with camellia seed oil made in Japan. The bad thing is, there's two bad things. They're expensive. I think they're like 30 or $35 for a pack of two. Yeah. And then I discovered in that same Amazon unboxing, I discovered these. That on the surface, they look the same, but they're not, they're not. These are actually 100% cotton, 100% muslin, but they're still kind of quilted and the guy that owns this company said that he was no longer going to be able to sell these because the distributor quit making them. And so I have really, really enjoyed these. And I feel like there's something about them that is exfoliating. Now you remember a long... I never heard of Liz Earl and a hot cloth cleanser. People have been using muslin cloths for fucking eons to exfoliate their face when they wash it. Really? And you're supposed to be an expert. What rock do you live under, Lisa? You think you know it all? You're fucking dim. You know nothing. Is it dinner time yet? Hmm? Along with that last Amazon unboxing, or it might have been right after that. Yeah, you bought this box, so you throw them away, and off they go to landfill. What is wrong with the ones you had? Just reuse them, wash them, use them again. You don't need to be promoting this box of fucking tat. I told you about these. These are the Clean Skin Club Clean Towels Extra Large. And I loved them. You get one out, you can use it on your face, then you can do something else with it. Do I mean, they just seem to last forever. And they're very soft and I do really like them. But I found that they were not exfoliating my face like those do. I realized when I was going to put my makeup on that I still had just like that lacy skin in places, you know, you know those places that you're always peeling if you're using Retin-A. And I noticed that these were not taking that off. So that's something I kind of wanted to report back to you on anyway. But <laughs> if you have dry, sensitive skin, you may love these. Number 10, I didn't even do this on purpose. <laughs> Number 10 is my pen. <laughs> This is the Precise V5 pen. I take my pen very seriously, and I was watching Andrew Huberman, and he was doing a video on something else, but he was talking about how much he loved that pen. So I, on a whim, just ordered it, and I have never looked back. Before this, I liked the fine Sharpie pen, but this one, I love it, and it's very important. I love it. I use the black, and I will never go back. <laughs> Number 11. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I thought it was a top 10. 21. Oh, hell. The Bottega Inspired Mules. They are a little bit of a different color, but, and I, you know what? I think the heel is about a half an inch difference, too. These are the Bottega. These are the Inspired. So this, gosh, I mean, you guys, I have to check over and over. 
this is I just saw in the news a second ago when I turned this off to talk to Tech Help and come back. Is it Jeff Bezos who runs Amazon has just overtaken Elon Musk as the richest man in the world? Is I think is that stamped maybe? I don't think that's really woven. I think that's stamped where that one, you know, Bottega's famous for their woven leathers. But you guys, I love these. They are so comfortable, so nice. I really, I, it's like, why would you even order? And I've got several pair of these. Why would I even order the expensive ones anymore? I understand. I mean, I, I know there are some people that would never wear an inspired item, but if you are curious, maybe even if you want to try these and you really end up wearing them and loving them a lot, then you could spring for the regular Bottegas. But I believe the heel is a little bit shorter on these. And here are the bottoms. It's just... They are just as close as you can get. And I really, really, really love this color. And I think you would love these. My next favorite would be these from The Drop. And it's just this little nude wedge. These are very, very comfortable and they go with everything. And one of the perks to me- Don't look fucking comfortable to me. Me doing this job and loving clothes like I do and trying on so many outfits and doing my try on videos is I recognize what shoes look best and what shoes go with most dresses and items. These look good with white jeans. They just look good with everything. And I think that they are very comfortable, very flattering and that you would love them. Okay. Sunglasses. Oh, I gave we're going to be here till Christmas for sunglasses sunglasses number 13 and number 14. So let's start with number 13. If I had to say my favorites out of all of them here and they are dirty, I wear these. I love th Yes, most people wear their eyewear. And you know what they do, Lisa? They clean it before they put it away in the case. They don't just take them off from up in their hair and fling them in the back of the car. Look after your stuff. Well, you never taught that as a child. These were probably my number one go to the pool glasses. And it's... Oh, but see, these are just cheapos, so it doesn't really matter at all, does it? These. Sorry, my light. I had to use my light today because of it raining. But I love these. They fit beautifully. I think they're cool. If you don't care for, like, the blue lenses, they have all different colors. This is a little bit more subdued and they're, I mean, they're cheap. They're cheap. They're cheap and they're cheap. I mean, cheap, 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 cheap. What are you, a fucking chick? Oh, but they're cheap. But we, you know, we can just wear them for a couple of times, get the vibe and then bin them. And they're very plasticky, but they do the job. They do the job and they hold your hair back. They're just they're really for. nice to have, and I think very, very stylish, very on trend, and I think that you would love them. My next favorites are, I would, I would say these are de all designer inspired, and it's these. And I know these are look a little bit radical, but I love them. These I had to get out of my car because I just what's radical about them? Keep them in there. I think they're very vibey. What did I say? I think I might like blue lenses. That might be one of my favorites. And these also are good for in the hair. Yeah. See how cool those are? Very Vela, very Burberry. All of those make designs like this. Gucci, all of the high designers are making, Tom Ford <laughs> are making designs like this. So I think that you would love these. And I might just pop to the Burberry factory up the road then and see what do they have. And it's a, an inexpensive way to maybe step out of your comfort. I guarantee you, if she knew where Burberry was made, she'd never buy it again. 
comfort zone and have fun. And I know a lot of people just won't spend a lot of money on sunglasses because they are easy to sit down, lose, or sit on, or all of those things. I'm no, they're not if you look after them and you're a fucking grown up. I'm pretty good about taking care of my sunglasses. I think the only pair that I... You scratched a pair of Victoria Beckham glasses, lenses, and we never heard the end of it. I ruined, and I was so upset about it. It was a pair of Victoria Beckham. They scratched like crazy. I had put them in my purse. It was when I was in Los Angeles, and we were going in and out of the stores. We were on Rodeo Drive, and I put them in my purse, and they just scratched to pieces. Because they're supposed to be put in their fucking case, you dingbat. You don't just shove them in your handbag. And I've never had that happen. So I think that's it. Okay, two honorary members here are these two. These are very, like, very, 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 very Gucci inspired. I have some that are like this, but I think this is a good, good inspired piece. Very oversized and fun, more of a glam look. And then these. Again, with the blue lenses, again, dirty. That's okay, I'm just gonna let wing it. These are a little bit more oversized. These are a little Michael Kors, I think. Give you Michael Kors. Look at her when she puts... There's nobody there with doing flash fucking photography. Oh, look at me. Look at me and my cheapo glasses. Aren't I good? Vibes. Number 15, thank you to Marnie, Miss Gold Girl. When I went to Dallas to the LTK conference, but I decided one night that I wanted to flat iron my hair and I borrowed her flat iron and I've never looked back. I ordered it, I think I may have. The woman who has nine million fucking hair accessory things, gadgets, whatever you wanna fucking call them and couldn't be asked to pack it. So she had to borrow Marnie's. If I'd have been Marnie, I'd have said, no, where's your own? Fuck off. I have ordered it on the plane, on the way back. That's how good it is. Now, I, I was thinking today, I used this this morning, and I'm still not a big promoter of flat ironing your hair regularly because I would rather my hair be frizzy than fall off. And so I don't do that. But if you are someone who likes to, this one is just, I don't know what it is about it. It's a great size. It's very smooth. It has a good turn on, you know, button and you can adjust the heat. And he has a good turn on, turn offable thing me. And it's just, it's the Paul Mitchell Neuro. I don't know if they sell it a lot of places. I ordered it from Amazon and I love it. Okay, my next favorite would be this little set back here. Let me get up and get it for you. And I believe this is another Free People inspired set. I have had a couple of different colors. I've had the black. It was a great travel set. I think I wore that on my way to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then I got this set, which is the ivory. It comes in many colors. I love the bottom of the pants. Very cool. It gives you lots of good options. This actually looks really good with those Bottega inspired sandals and I love it. So this has definitely been a favorite. The size I got is a medium and wow, they made it so easy for me. 80% cotton, 20 polyester. That's probably like the ultimate blend because you're getting a lot of cotton, which means it's not going to be, you know, hot. It's going to be breathable, but yet that polyester is going to make it wash and dry well and just hang nicely. Amen. Number 17 is my sexy black ladder. I don't know if you guys saw that video I did. I think it was a Zara video. I'll put it up here. I bought it. I saw someone else on Instagram. Yeah, I was copying somebody. Isn't that should start every sentence you ever say. I was copying this girl and she had this, so I had to get it right away. 
I liked it. I liked the way it looked and I bought it when I was doing this room, not really thinking that I'm not really going to need a ladder in this room because it's a short ceiling anyway, but I love the ladder so much. I didn't want to get rid of it. I just liked the way it looked. I love that ladder. There's just something about it. I have it out in my main living room here upstairs and I have my main living room. It's not a living room. It's your empire. No one else is allowed up there. Only Brooke, your 23, nearly 24 year old daughter that does the steaming and occasionally says something from the other side of the room. Like a little gold bag hanging on it and I just like looking at it. It's just a beautiful kind of, um, I don't know, I think because it's black and it's metal and it's just not your standard ladder, step ladder. It's just really pretty. I love it. Number 18 is coffee table books. I love my coffee table books. My slim. Do you ever read your coffee table books? Inquiring minds need to know. Aaron's, my Kate Moss, Bridget Bardot. So whether your interests are cars, fashion, sports, there is an, a particular artist, the beach, you know, makeup. There are all types of coffee table books that you can get that enhance your space. You can use them just to create interest on your dresser or to put under a lamp to make a, an end table look more special to put on your coffee table. And like there's certain artists that are very expensive and hard to get. If you get their coffee table book, you're getting a little piece of their art for a much cheaper price. I, I'm just a believer. I love coffee table books. Number 19 is my toothpaste. One of you guys told me about this and thank you, thank you, thank you. I had always used Sensodyne Pronamel, which is in a similar tube because I like that it preserves the enamel on your teeth, of course, and keeps you from being too sensitive. I would switch to the whitening, but I liked how smooth it was and that it wasn't just so ugh, aggressively minty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And one of you told me about this. This has the, let's see, it's Nano Hydroxyapatite Toothpaste. NHA is a mineral that helps fortify the enamel to support a healthy smile. It's whitening, helps maintain enamel, and promotes oral health. And then it says the flavor profile is mint, cardamom, and green tea. So just it tastes good, it feels good. It's just a good toothpaste. Has it done anything for the enamel on your teeth? That's what people need to know. I don't care if it tastes like shit, if it makes my teeth less sensitive and it regrows the enamel that I've lost. But you never give that information and then you go and look to buy a tube and it's like £300 a tube to test and I ain't doing that. So does anybody know, does it do anything apart from clean your teeth? I've loved it. Along with my black sexy ladder, I have really loved these black sexy hangers. They are just so chic. Let me, let me get one more to show you too. These. My black ones are definitely my favorites. And the first pack that I bought, I didn't have enough to like, <laughs> I'm funny about my hangers. I want them to all match. I'm really funny about, you know, I don't like the slim velvet ones or anything like that. And so at first I, ha I didn't use just these. I was using my white ones. And I started using these as divider. So now what have you done with all the white ones that you bought because you saw somebody else using them and you had to have the same? I really, really loved it so much and I loved looking at clothes on this hanger that I ended up ordering enough to have these, like for a whole rack. And then I saw these and I ordered these just to have something different. But Don't I thought you liked them all the same. Don't underestimate the power of looking in your closet and everything looking beautiful, organized with all of the same hangers. But your closet isn't beautiful and organized, is it? And just like you like, if you're like me and you like black, you like that high contrast, you will love having these black and white hangers in your closet.
Okay, I believe this is number 21 and I have purchased this in the past, but this year I purchased this for my mom. She hurt herself a little bit when she was going to the gym and she was in a lot of pain like in her back and legs and I told her about this, which is a seat cushion. I actually purchased this years ago before carnivore when I was having a lot of hip pain and I would sit at my desk and it, when I would get up to walk, that hip would just, it would be killing me. It would take me like to the stairs to like get where I could walk comfortably. Mm -hmm. So I started sitting on this seat cushion. Well, the thing is I started sitting on it like this. So I purchased it for my mom and she had it at, in her chair at the table where she eats and where she sits, like when I come over and everything. And I looked over and I said, I think you got that backwards. And she said, no, it says to put it this way. Okay, you're supposed to sit on it this way so that it supports your legs. And then there's a space for your spine, fuck with. Legs and everything. I had been sitting on it the wrong way the whole time. So I ordered myself a new one and even though I don't have any pain or anything, I sit on this every day at my desk. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't have any pain. But yet I had to get another one because my mom has one, so I have to have one. Not an arc at all. Because it gives you more support and I think it's... Doesn't, I feel like it has to be better for your circulation because it's not hard and it's, see, it's like a memory foam and I just love it. I got one for John and I think that they are very, very nice to have. Okay, you guys, I hope you saw something that you liked. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Good God almighty. We got to the end. Yahoo! And if you got here with me, congratulations. Chocolate Wombles for everyone. And I will see you in the next one.